Hey everybody, um, happy December to us all. So the big guy is coming for Christmas pretty soon. Uh, I just wanted to give you a little bit of um, end of year review as to what's happened this year. So I saw some pretty crazy things happen at the beginning of the year. Like the market was uh, really spiking up and we, we all know now that we saw a price gain of about 33% year over year at that time. So when you're looking at February results from 2016 to 2017, 33% growth, that's, that was massive in real estate. And that was across the board. So we saw some huge numbers way outside Toronto as well, which is not that common. Um, and then come April, we saw a policy that really shifted where things were headed. It really changed the trajectory of the, um, of the market. Um, the government came out for housing policy and decided that they would curb the way, like, curb the growth of that market. So. Essentially, what they did was take the take the air out of the market, take the support out of the market, and it gave buyers a lot of you know feeling of concern about where the future was headed. So we saw a huge pause from from buyers, and of course, when you pull the demand out, supply's got to adjust uh, accordingly as well. Um, so the numbers of the listings, the prices of the listings, really got got hit. So. We saw numbers spike up and then we saw them really tail off. So by the time you got to September, October, you were literally at the same number that you were at the previous year. So four or 5% modest growth, uh, actually as low as 3%. So we saw very similar numbers from 2016 and 2017. And that's where we are right now. I've noticed a pretty active November which is great, and um, I think December looks like so far on our in our world, anyways, on our team, we're seeing some activity as well. So you know, weird because December is normally pretty calm, but we're seeing some activity there. Into next year, I do think that that's the end to policy changes for a little while. That's the end to speculation about interest rates and where they're headed. Um, I think things will calm down a little bit in January and, and February, but I do think we'll be back to the heavy spring market where. You know, home buyers, parents want to move into to homes for the summer, so they'll be looking at making a change at that time. Anyway, um, crazy roller coaster ride of a year, 2016, and uh, I, I do think that things will return a bit more to normal, slower, gradual pace, but definitely trending up in, in prices. It's real estate. It, it makes money. What can you do? Have a wonderful month, and we'll talk to you guys soon.